and welcome to Daniel's Tips, where we put some sense in your tip jar. Welcome today. Today you're joined by me, Daniel, and we are going to paint, be painting this spaniel. So let's get on into this and paint this spaniel. As I delve into drawing the spaniel dog, I first initially just block in the character, the, the dog here, and the surrounding. It looks like he's sitting on a couch, lounging out, and I just, you know, place everything in, and as I place everything in, I delve it back and try to fix up the shapes, the forms um, of this this character here, the dog, the spaniel. Um, now, you know, I've done dogs before. Dogs are fun to draw. Um, and this one especially, I had um, a spaniel before. Uh, Cocker spaniel, um, they call them. I think this might be the same. I had a dog like this. Um, might, might be a bit bigger as far as I know, unless this is a youngish um, dog. I'm not 100% sure on, you know, the age of this dog or the history or anything. Um, but, you know, you don't necessarily need um, to know all that information. Um, it can be helpful, um, you know, if you know it's a puppy, you know, to, um, you know, that its features are very, you know, are developing still. So, you know... You know what to kind of aim for <laughs> and also it helps if you're doing like a cartoon style as well um for me obviously i'm going kind of word for word this is a 90 minute art challenge um where i do just draw what i see usually um sometimes i change things up um but i am you know going for pretty much copying this image um I'm trying to delve away from just kind of doing the contour lines. Um, so I'm really, you know, doing a few um, pose drawings and things like that, even on animals. Um, I really enjoy doing that. Um, you know, breaking up the forms, the shapes, that really helps. Um, even here, when I did the paws, I just did an overall shape and then I slowly kind of fix it up as I go, same with the head, just an overall shape, then kind of fix up, you know, where things go, where's eyes lay, um, you know, using some lines to help me out every now and again, um, I didn't do it as much here, but you, you know, if you use lines, like the eye line where the eyes kind of sit, that can really help you get the eyes in the right position, um, uh, because that's something that, um, it can happen every now and again, you know, one eye is high, a little bit higher than the other, and it can just pop the whole thing off, the whole image off, um, and I think it might be slightly off here, um, where the eye level is, so having some lines, you know, make it curve around the, um, the spaniel here can really help, um, you know, using your shapes a little bit more. I think I could have used shape a little bit more here to help me out. Um, so these are some flaws that I did within this 90 minute art challenge. You know, there's always flaws. Um, and, you know, you're only in 90 minutes. Um, but here, obviously, you know, it's a learning challenge um, to help you out, to get you better at drawing, at painting, at whatever it is you're working on, um, you know, I, I deal with certain things in each challenge, you know, landscape paintings, and some of them I've done before, um, and, you know, here, kind of, portraits, I would like to do, you know, any pet portraits, I, I enjoyed doing them in the past, and, you know, I look forward to doing more in the future. I'm looking at possibly doing a cat at some point as well. Because <laughs> cats are fun. Um, a portrait like this. I've done a pug. I've done plenty of pug paintings. Um, so doing other dogs um, can be helpful and fun. I've done other, like a dog in a field of roses. You know, I've done quite a few um, different domestic pets. And I used to, you know, the one of the first 
um, drawings that I kind of did was just to send down painting my cats. You know, I had three cat or four cats at the time when I was, you know, was drawing. We had three cats and then we, you know, we, we got, I've had cats most of my life. Um, and, you know, just uh, seeing them go and, and drawing them and, yeah, it's all lots of fun. Um, and you can really capture some personalities from, you know, drawing them um, over and over again in different poses and things like that. It is helpful. Um, and, yeah, I think I had fun with this image. Um, like I said, there are flaws, um, but it's more the learning experience, trying to get better at um, drawing this kind of image, uh, pet portraits had also um, blurry things at the front uh, more focused on the face there so that was another challenging element i don't i don't think i've done that much where kind of the front's blurry but the the back's less blurry like more in focus i haven't done too much of that um in my work that i do have you know <laughs> um mostly it's usually the other way around where you know something in the front um, is in focus and something in the back's blurry, you know, they haven't really done much of the other way around, um, so there's another challenge, um, that I'm slowly looking at getting better at, blurring things out and making things more in focus versus less in focus, um, that's something I've dealt with in some of these 90 minute art challenges, um, and it has helped a lot, um, so I recommend doing these ones, you know, this challenge was awesome, it was great to do. Um, again, 90 minutes, it's not too much time to give up. Um, you know, you can really, if you uh, have got a whole day to do art and illustration or creating things um, in your schedule, you could just do it in the morning, um, an hour and a half. Just dedicate to painting something, painting this, get your juices going, and get, you know, your art stuff going. Um, and then do the rest of your stuff the rest of the day, you know. Um, or the other way around, you can do all your stuff during the day and just relax at night. Just do a 90 minute art challenge thing. Um, they are fun. They are, you know, not so daunting. If you if you just take an image and draw it, you know, it's it's not so daunting. You're just kind of copying, um, trying to understand this image a little bit. Obviously, there's more challenging images you can find and less challenging images. Um, but, you know, time restraint comes into it sometimes. And um, But it's just 90 minutes and, you know, I don't expect to achieve the highest grade image in the world from these um i would love to but i'm more kind of focused on taking something out of it um and that's what these challenges are about and that's why i do these videos to share with you guys to help you out um to see and you know the things that i learned from doing these nine minute art challenges um, to share with you guys so that you can um, try it yourself. You can find this image. I looked up Spaniel, I think. Um, yeah, Spaniel, I think this one might be a pixabay.com image. Um, yeah, I think so. A Spaniel. Um, but yeah, you can find this image or you can find your pet dog. Take a photo of your pet dog. Um, and have fun at painting that, you know, it's, it's fun to, to paint your pets and things you know, objects you know, um, your environment, I've done that a few times where I draw, like, my environment, um, you know, where I live, you know, my house, a few assignments where I had to draw my house, um, a few assignments where I had to come up with a scene, of something happening you know in in 3d kind of a thing uh, which was fun um yeah lots of fun drawing things you know can be very really helpful as well um because you've seen them every day you know them kind of inside out a little bit more than you would just drawing a random dog 
um, or random cat it, it's a little bit more helpful um, although you, and also you can get to draw them um, in real like you know up close and personal if they don't move you know I would draw my cat um, for a little bit and then she would move you know <laughs> again annoying like that sometimes but um, if you're well they might sleep and you might be able to draw them while they're sleeping um, so you know getting them in a pose like this you'd probably have to photography photography <laughs> take a photo of it um, and yeah hopefully you learned something new you've enjoyed this video uh, feel free to you know like share subscribe it's great having you um, in the comments there um, keep drawing keep creating and see you in the next video